Hello everyone, welcome back to the Anatomy Lab. Today we are going to be taking a look at the blood flow for the celiac trunk as well as the hepatic portal system. So to get started, you can see that you have a few different organs here. We have what on this side, you can see you have the liver, the gallbladder, the stomach, the spleen, the pancreas, and then two parts of the small intestine, the duodenum, and then this portion that is right after the curve, the jejunum. And then this is very similar, but a little different. It has a couple things missing. Pancreas in the middle, <coughs> spleen, duodenum, and then jejunum. Now, to get started, a couple of things to take note of is that we'll be using a few different words that help you to kind of figure out what's what. So hepatic is referring to the liver. Splenic is referring to the spleen. Gastric is referring to the stomach. And then that's about it. So let's go ahead and start looking at these different blood vessels, which we'll start off with the arteries. So first of all, you can see that there's an artery that's going forward from the back. This right here is going to be called the celiac trunk. So you can see that if you kind of orient it so you can see the top portion of it. This comes from the back. This is the celiac trunk. And then there are actually three things that come off the celiac trunk. So there's one that goes upward and to the left. This is called the left gastric artery. So the left gastric artery is right over here as well, where you can see it going to the stomach. So remember, stomach is gastric or gastro. Now, on this side, you can see that you have, there's an artery that's going to the spleen. So the spleen, luckily, this is the splenic artery. And then this one is a little bit hard to kind of tell for this model, but this one is actually going up into the right side of the abdomen, which is going to go into the liver. So this right here, that's coming off of the celiac trunk. So celiac trunk, this is called the common hepatic artery. Now, if you look closely, the common hepatic artery is going to start to go upwards towards the liver. This part that goes upward is called the hepatic artery proper, or sometimes known as the proper hepatic artery. Now, those arteries you can see on this side as well. So just to be clear, the celiac trunk is actually posterior, so you can't see that, but you can see its three branches. Splenic artery left gastric artery you can see right over here and then common hepatic artery and hepatic artery proper which then branches further to the left and right hepatic arteries now this is the blood that's going to be bringing oxygenated blood into the liver because all of your tissues need oxygenated blood but there's another blood vessel that will also bring blood into the liver and that is through something called the hepatic portal system. Now, the hepatic portal system is going to have a few different blood vessels that are draining into it, and those are largely the mesenteric arteries, but also the splenic artery as well. So you can see that this is the hepatic portal vein, which goes up into the liver, but then this side, you can see all of the blood vessels that go into the hepatic portal vein. So although I don't typically do this, we're going to move kind of backwards to look at these veins. This one is hepatic portal vein, which goes up into the liver. But there are two veins that are going to be making that. So the one that's coming from the spleen, luckily, just like the artery, this is the splenic vein. So the splenic vein comes to the hepatic portal vein, but joins with or merges with another vein right here. This is called the superior mesenteric vein. So superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein join together to form hepatic portal vein. But there's also one more vein that's kind of missing here or draining into this as well. But specifically, this is going into the splenic vein and we already talked about superior mesenteric vein. So this one is actually inferior mesenteric vein. So superior and or superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein join together to form hepatic portal vein. The inferior mesenteric vein drains into splenic vein, 
which also eventually goes into hepatic portal vein. But all of this blood is going into the liver. So this blood is blood that has come from the intestines largely, but also other structures like the pancreas, the stomach, and so on. All of this blood is where you have mostly like all of your nutrients that you've, that you've absorbed, which is going to go into the liver before it goes to the rest of your body. Now, if you look closely, this was superior mesenteric vein right next to it. Very luckily, this is superior mesenteric artery. So you can see that on this side as well, superior mesenteric vein. So that's from this side, superior mesenteric artery right next to it. So they kind of run behind the pancreas and then go down to the right side of your abdomen. Now, to also look at this model really quickly, you can see the veins here, just like you saw the arteries, but in this case, you actually can't see all of them. So let's see what we can find. So once again, here's the spleen. So this would be the splenic vein. And then although somewhat obscured, this one right here is the same thing as this. So that was superior mesenteric vein right here, which goes up and joins with splenic vein. So superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein join together right here to form hepatic portal vein. And hepatic portal vein is going to branch out to all of these little like veins that are in the lobules of the liver, which are basically the branches of the hepatic portal vein. And that's how it'll be distributed so that you can process and detoxify everything that you absorb through whatever you ate. Now, once again, though, if this is superior mesenteric vein, this is superior mesenteric artery. So, with that said, that is the blood flow for the celiac trunk as well as the hepatic portal vein. So, I think the best is about it. So, good luck with your studying. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all next time.